Hi all, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, I want to first just kind of explain what's going on here. About uh, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago, my friend David and I got into an argument about the uh, rotation about of the moon about its own axis, and uh, the debate has kind of raged on since then. Um, I'm just going to start by saying this. I know that what I'm presenting is not the... Um, explanation you're going to hear from most scientists. Uh, however, after eight years I have yet to find a scientist that can um, give an explanation against the evidence that I'm about to present. So I don't know if it's a matter of semantics or something, uh, but to this, to this time uh, I haven't heard anyone make an argument that's very compelling. Certainly not more compelling than the evidence I'm about to show you in my humble opinion. Uh, that said, I'm not out here to disprove anyone, uh, but I would like, um, I guess, discourse. I would love to talk about it. I would love to have somebody actually explain to me why this example is not um, apt. <laughs> so, uh, if you are that person, I would love to uh, comment, you know, any type of uh, debate, I guess. I'd really welcome, just as long as it's not kind of a uh, YouTube troll type debate, which I... Uh, won't engage with. But anyway, here we go. This is the moon's rotation about its axis as explained by teacups. So here's our guy. He's uh, sitting in his teacup. I'm sure you're familiar with the teacup rides. Uh, generally in this center area there's like um, a tea pouring uh, spout and then circling around it are these teacups. And you sit in the teacup and there's also an axis in the teacup uh, that the teacup spins around. So it spins around this way and then the cup itself spins around this way. So there's a central axis and then the teacups each have their own axis. There's axis one, the ride axis, axis two, the teacup axis. So uh, to demonstrate what happens when uh, the teacup is rotating freely upon its own axis, uh, we're going to show this guy with his hands out. Uh, conversely, when the teacup is not rotating freely upon its axis, when it's locked onto its axis, uh, his hands are going to move like that. And uh, so you can see that they move in there, and then I just think this kind of looks like the Mortal Kombat guy. Um, Goro. So from now on, our little character is going to be named Goro. So here Goro goes around the uh, the ride. Uh, he's got it locked down, and so when the ride takes a quarter turn counterclockwise, he's still facing the center of the ride. <clears throat> so uh, in this example, the ride has rotated on its axis. Uh, the teacup has rotated on the ride's axis but the teacup has not rotated upon its own axis. It goes around, another quarter turn, round and round he goes, the entire time facing the center of the ride. Now Goro uh, is going to remove his hands from the teacup axis, thereby allowing it to rotate freely upon it. He goes around. In this example, the center axis is not moving um, but he was. Now, alright, so uh, he's now taking a quarter turn, not locked upon it, his axis, and uh, he is now not facing the center. Now, in this example, he could be facing any which way. Uh, in fact, he could still be facing the center, as um, I'll show later, but um, he could be facing any which way right now. The point is uh, he's rotating freely about the axis. So here he goes. Now he's facing away from the ride's central axis. And uh, so he's back to where he started. And uh, as you can see, um, he was not the entire time facing the center. So we're going to replace that center axis with the Earth. That's going to be our example now. It's really important to note that the Earth itself is not the center axis but the Earth's center axis is the center axis. And uh, the moon um, is going to replace the teacup, so I just want you to imagine Goro uh, sitting inside the moon, able to lock down that moon upon its axis. 
Uh, now one thing, uh, I'm sure people are already starting to think about uh, tidal lock, especially if you've done any research into this. Um, but uh, I really want to point out here that um, the Earth's central axis is not a real thing. Um, it's not this tangible thing that you can touch. It's uh, the concept. It's the thing that the Earth is spinning upon. Um, same with the Earth's central axis. Uh, it is spinning, or in my opinion, not spinning upon it, but it is there. It is there to be spinned upon um, if something set that in motion. And then, here's the thing uh, with that uh, tidal lock. That's, um, that is also invisible, but real. Uh, what tidal lock is, that's the whole reason this debate had started. There's, um, the, the, the moon is always facing the earth. Uh, the, the man on the moon, as it were, is always facing the earth, and that's because of tidal lock. So, uh, also invisible, also very real. So, the guy's going to start spinning around, not locked upon his ac the moon's axis. Here he goes. Oh, there's the man on the moon I was just talking about looking at earth. And uh, here we go, spinning around. Uh, he is not locked upon his axis and so now the man on the moon is not facing earth if you were standing at any point on earth you would not be able to see the man on the moon and that is because the moon is in fact spinning upon its own axis in this example um, I also want to note I, I uh, had the earth spinning upon its own axis um, for those of you who don't believe that uh, two different things can spin around the same central axis, just uh, take a look at your wristwatch. Uh, take a look at your wristwatch. And uh, you'll be able to see that in this case there are three different things spinning around the same central axis. So in this case they are physical, tangible things spinning around it because just as easily be um, uh, tidal lock, you know, holding that, uh, that second hand out there. So here we go back around not locked upon the axis so going back to what I was saying earlier some of you are saying well wait a second uh, he could still be facing the earth the entire time even if he wasn't locked upon his axis and uh, that's my friend what my friend David was saying and I, I guess I just want to say really so the moon used to spin um, the used, moon used to spin at a completely different rate it wasn't always facing the same face to the earth and then due to tidal lock it locked itself down so it's not this thing where you know oh my gosh what are the odds isn't that awesome it's more the kind of thing where it's like I kind of expected that and um, I guess case in point this is actually fairly common in our own solar system and in the galaxy so for anyone who's saying wow it's so miraculous that that happened it's really not it's expected to happen because that's what tidal lock is um, it's uh, a force of the earth um, just like if it were a steel rod sticking out on into the moon um, you can't see it but it is equally as real holding that face of the moon to the central axis of the earth so our guy now locks down the axis of the moon and as you might expect as he starts going around the ride he is still facing earth the man on the moon is still facing earth even as the earth spins upon its own axis as well we're going to stick a little guy out there on the earth just to further illustrate the point that no matter where you're standing on the earth um, you can only see one side of the moon as it spins around. So with that, I would just like to close in saying, in this example, the moon mimics the teacup that does not rotate upon its own axis. Uh, so that was so much fun. Goro had a blast, but after all that riding on spinny rides, he's getting a little bit sick. So it is time to end this. But I would, again, I would really enjoy conversation with you, and I would love it if you went and watched my other two videos on this subject. Uh, the one is on tetherball. I'm sure you can kind of see where I'm going right there with the uh, title lock being the tether. Um, and the other one, maybe even more compelling, is the uh, bicycle pedals. So um, I would love it if you watched. I would love it if you comment. Um, definitely would love it if you liked. Um, but uh, 
just some good conversation about this is needed because it just it seems to be this thing out there where everyone just assumes it's true but nobody can really explain why so if you can explain why I would really love to hear it and thank you again for watching have a good day